morning and welcome to the Cairngorms National Park. Today is the 18th of December, which can only mean one thing, it's officially one week until Christmas. And where better to come than the winter wonderland of Scotland? The main reason I'm here today is because I'm off to feed the famous Cairngorm reindeer herd. So excited for that. But before that happens, I have come to Loch Morlich. The sun is just rising behind me over the mountains and I'm off to see if I can get some interesting sunrise shots above this stunning, stunning winter wonderland. So there's been quite a lot of snow up here the last couple of weeks. But as we're getting closer to Christmas, the temperatures are beginning to rise, which is a little bit frustrating. But I'm actually quite surprised that Loch Morlich is still frozen today. We've got these amazing, amazing bits of ice just here, just cracking. And the whole loch is completely frozen over. Which, like I say, I think is amazing because it's not even that cold this morning. I think it's two degrees, so it's not even below zero and it's frozen. There is some crazy people over there. Crazy people in... Um, literally in shorts and t-shirts about to go wild swimming in this loch. Imagine going wild swimming in freezing temperatures of ice. It is just, it's insane. I can imagine it must be so exhilarating and apparently it can be so good for you swimming in ice cold water. Wow, I'm watching them try to get through the, the ice just now. Oh, I can't imagine how cold they must be. It's insane. But you know what guys, embrace the outdoors and do crazy things like that because it must be so exhilarating. So I decided I'm going to try and make the most of these ice patches here. All this ice cracking would make a really nice foreground leading into the mountains. It's really, really nice. You know, the last couple of years we've had quite mild winters in Scotland, so it's been really good this month because we've had quite a lot of snow, quite a lot of ice, and it's back to this winter wonderland which I remember as a child. And coming up here this morning to see this, it's so worth getting out of bed early for. Absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm going to set up my camera and see if I can get some images with this. I'm not sure what's going to happen this morning. The nice clouds and nice colours that we had when we came up here are starting to kind of go away because a lot of the nice clouds are behind these mountains. But once the sun pops above the mountains, I'm hoping we're going to get some really nice colours and really nice light um, reflecting on all the mountains over here. And this ice, I'm hoping, is going to make a really interesting foreground. say I'm quite disappointed with the light this morning. When I looked at the weather forecast last night it said it was going to be completely cloudy all day today so I was kind of expecting not to get any amazing light but what I was expecting this morning was some really nice dull moody skies, really nice clouds above the mountains, being able to get that kind of pre-dawn dark moody shot. Then driving here this morning, there wasn't much cloud in the sky at all and we were getting some really nice colours kicking off in the background. Unfortunately, this isn't the best location for what the skies were like this morning and I did consider stopping off at a couple of other locks along the way, but I just felt like I wanted to get here. And of course, I'm so glad that I am here because this is a beautiful scene in front of me right now. But the light is just not happening. It's very dull, very dark. There's just not much interest happening right now. Um, I just don't know what to do. I'm still very interested and enticed by all this ice on the loch, but we're just not getting that nice moody colours or bright colours at all. And um, yeah, I'm just a bit disappointed with how um, the light's going just now, which is a shame. But I'm going to stick it out and see what happens when the sun does rise above those mountains and who knows what it's going to hold. But as I always say, it's just so nice to get out, to get out and to enjoy this. And I mean, this is just beautiful. This is so incredibly beautiful. It's so calm this morning. Apart from the unfortunate noise of the traffic on the road behind me, it is so still and calm. And I can even hear birds singing, which you just don't really get in the winter. This is such a beautiful sight. If you're ever in the Aviemore area, make sure you stop off at Loch Morlich. 
it is such a stunning loch to come to and there's car parks all the way along the side you can literally just park up get out your car and enjoy it I've got a couple of people who watch my videos who have disabilities and they're always looking for places to come where they can you know just park up their car and have a wonderful view Loch Morlich is definitely one of those places and you know I, I hired there's a, a water sports center here and in the summer I hired a rowing boat and I went rowing on this loch and it was just such an incredible experience again it was quite a still morning we had beautiful reflections all around here and the great thing is in the winter you've got these stunning wintry scenes in front of you and in the summer this is a beach a beach beside a loch in the middle of the Cairngorms it's incredible a great place to come in the summer to sunbathe go rowing go kayaking whatever this loch has got it all and I would highly highly recommend coming here if you're ever in the area wow and it looks so different every time you come here it looks completely different and it's a, it's a magical place a truly truly magical place formed many thousands of years ago by glacial erosion and it's incredible wow it's amazing what nature can create When Scotland gets like this, it is well worth enjoying it. And the Cairngorms National Park is probably the snow, it is, it's not probably, it is the snow and winter capital of the United Kingdom. This place can become a winter wonderland at this time of year. Unfortunately, I've missed the best of it this time round, but who knows, maybe in January or February it will come round again. I will be back up here hopefully and we'll get some nice wintry shots. But this post kind of snow when you've got freezing ice this ice is so deep I was too scared to throw anything on it earlier in case I broke it but I've just thrown a massive stone onto it and it's not even cracked there's big boulders and everything on this ice and it's just holding up it's incredible but this this landscape right now is completely covered in ice and this post snow that we've got it's just beautiful and unfortunately the next couple of days the temperatures are going to rise, it's going to be 13 degrees tomorrow, I mean come on it's December, that should not be happening. But it's nice for me to have been able to come up here today and to look at this and enjoy it before it disappears this time round. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this for now is the closest that I'm going to get to a cold snowy country. But it's just beautiful. And I'm so glad that I got up early this morning and came up here. And I think what's about to happen is going to be even more special. Going to feed the Cairngorm reindeer. What is more Christmassy and more magical than that? <laughs> the wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking out wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's wow, how amazing is this view? With all these reindeer and everything just right in the foreground. This is an experience well worth going to. Absolutely incredible. Oh, it's such a charm, got you up in my arm. There's nobody. What an amazing place it is up here. 
this is a sub-arctic climate. The only one in Great Britain and it is such a phenomenal place. Just look at all this snow that's been lying here for ages now. This is such a fantastic place to come and it's so special to have something like this in Scotland. It's just incredible and it's... wow. That reindeer experience was amazing. Reindeers can live in up to minus 30 degrees Celsius, which we do actually get now and again up here in the Cairngorms. It's rare, but it does happen. And it's such a natural climate for them. Reindeer actually lived in Scotland natively um, a couple of thousand years ago. And um, due to global warming and also hunting and everything, they kind of ended up becoming extinct. But having this reindeer herd up here that's looked after greatly by all the staff and volunteers, it's just such a wonderful thing to come to. And especially at this time of year when it's snowy and icy. Well worth it. It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door What a difference a couple of hours can make. Pretty much this whole loch has begun to thaw and all the ice is starting to melt. We've got some really unusual circular ice on the loch now. It's incredible, I've never seen anything like it before. And obviously now the water is starting to come back, we've got these gorgeous reflections here of the Cairngorm Mountains on Loch Morley. This is out of this world. Wow. Well, I can certainly think of much worse ways to spend a Monday morning. I might not have got any good photos, but this is amazing. Get up to the Cairngorms and experience Scotland's sub-Arctic climate. You will not be disappointed. <laughs>